Hi, I'm live. Nobody's here yet, obviously, but Whew. hi for everybody if you're rewatching this, which I don't know why you would, but I'm here. I'm here. I feel like my hair always blends in to my bookcases. I also always wear black shirts, so I'm just be I'm just out here blending in. I'm waiting for some people to get in here. Yay, you are first. Nice. It doesn't even say how many people are in here yet. Like, it'll have it, like, in... Now it says two. It has it in this corner for me. This one. Right there. And it didn't even say it when you got here. <coughs> so there's two people. Dang, you were really out here waiting. I went live, like, three minutes early. Okay, wait, I'm turning down the volume. Hi, Bianca. I'm just waiting for some people to get in here. Let me try and change the angle so this, these comments are not like blocking my face. I moved um, locations. I was over there. I'm over here because the sun is coming in. Hi. I just wanted to. So I watched this TikTok, right? That was like sing along when something reminds you of your childhood. And it's like games and like toys and stuff. And like some of these remind me of things. Like, you know, if you watch TikToks where it's like a sound or something that was in a TV show when you were like five and you don't remember the TV show. And then they play the sound and you were like oh my gosh, like, I just unlocked all these memories of this TV show that I don't even remember. It was like that. So, I'm doing, um, romance slash contemporary for my last one. Wait, maybe if I... Here. I feel like I'm way too low. Yeah, no, it's fine. You guys are stacked on books. <laughs> Let's see if you guys have said anything that I'm not caught up with. Nope. The last thing was, what was the bookopoly role for you guys? Even though we all had the same two roles. Just people, some people are choosing between the two. Some people are doing both. So, I get it. My side's itchy. I'm going to have somebody joining me at 5. So, I'm actually just going to send him the link now. Since we're like waiting for a few minutes. Let me send it to him. Where the frick is he? Here he is. Are y'all not gonna talk or... My mom just said, hello, what you doing? Really, really loud. Are you guys not going to talk to me? Okay, here he goes. You're going to try and do contemporary slash romance with the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That's The seven husbands is really good. I read it in less than a day. Can you guys hear my mom? Tell me. You just got pierced and even hurt. Yeah, it depends on what you get. I mean, like, when I got my... I got my ears pierced when I was a baby, so I don't remember. When I got my nose pierced, like, it kind of hurt, I guess. Like, my eyes started to water just because, like... It's your face, so your eyes naturally water. And it hurt for, like, maybe, like, a second. But it didn't feel like anything. And you're way behind the rules. That's okay. You don't have to do all of them. I'm on my fourth roll. I just started Felix Ever After in the last sprint. And I'm, like, this far in. I'm 78 pages into a... 
a 350 page book are you reading the same book as last slide yeah i was reading the shadows but i finished that so now i'm reading felix ever after because this will be my last book for bookopoly and i might finish it before Before I end this, I'm assuming, like, I really want to talk to her for a bit, so I'm hoping that will be till like 11. So I might start another book then, but I haven't decided which one yet. So because I'm participating in Horn 24, I posted a TBR for that. If you guys want to see it, I posted it yesterday. Um, I recommend watching it because I'm funny, obviously. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I put all the books that I want to read, so I haven't decided which one of those I want to start with. It just kind of depends on how what time I finish everything and yeah. You know what I realize is kind of tragic about this? Like I've been reading a good bit of like contemporary lately because I feel like a lot of um, young adult contemporary has been coming out that talks about really important topics and I'm not the biggest like contemporary fan. Like I like romance but like contemporary I'm not the biggest fan of but I read You Should See Me in a Crown this month, The Henna Wars and I'm reading Felix Ever After because they all deal with like race, being queer, um, those kinds of things and it's kind of tragic because at least two of them I know have Harry Potter references and this one's about a transgender boy it has Harry Potter references in it which is sucky because obviously like we don't support JK Rowling in it and I'm assuming that if this book like if they started writing this book after everything with JK Rowling came out they wouldn't have included Harry Potter in here but yeah you need to binge YouTube videos after this readathon. Yeah, I mean, my watch later is just really, really long in general because <coughs> because like I'm terrible at catching up on videos because I don't watch just BookTube. I watch a lot of different YouTube videos. I feel like my computer, like for me, like the screen is so dark, and I don't know why. Oh my gosh, I need to set a reminder for this. Let's see, I'm going through my subscription right now to see if there's any videos I want to <coughs> add to my watch later. So what are you guys reading? Did you guys pick new books? Did you guys just tell me? He said, I'm going to read the manga I got from the library, Kiss of the Rose Princess. Story and art by Aya. I can't pronounce that last name. I'm not even gonna try. Did you guys see? If you guys know Joe Josepha, like, like you know the popular YouTuber, him and his boyfriend broke up, which makes me sad. <coughs> they were together for like five years. <coughs> it made me really, really sad. I'm just going through my subscription while you guys are typing slash waiting on more people. I never finished watching Aaron's video. That makes me sad. Do you guys think that I should not be live? Because Becca is going live my time at 4.30 p.m. But I have someone scheduled to come on at 5 to at least 6. Like, she's doing live reading sprints on her channel. And if nobody's going to be watching me and is going to be watching Becca, which you guys probably should because she's the host. Like, I don't want to, like, step on her toes. But, like, also, I've been trying to schedule people and... I did all of these readathons around other people's time or all these like sprints and everything around other people's time. So I don't know. Give me your guys' opinions. Like, I don't really know because she's going to be live in an hour and 20 minutes. But yeah, I don't know. She's going to be live at 530. So she's probably going to be live for an hour and a half, which I can get off after the person that I have gets off. But 
I don't want to be like, yo, sorry, Becca scheduled this, so, like, the thing that we scheduled, like, three days ago isn't going to happen, you know? Like, I feel like either way, I'm going to be rude. Let me know. Hi. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know Becca was going live either. She just, like, set that. Because you can, like, set it in advance. And so she just set it in advance, like, like, 30 minutes ago max. Like, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Okay, she said it that, it, or wait, 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 actually, that's the wrong thing. She said it around six hours ago. Like, she said it. I know. She said it to, like, six hours ago. Like, that's when she, like, scheduled it. So, like, that's when it went into everybody's inboxes and everything or subscription boxes. But I scheduled my guest, like, days ago. And I scheduled it around his time because, obviously. And I didn't know that she was going to go live. So, like until right now i guess i could have known six hours ago but i still had my guests scheduled six hours ago like i've had them scheduled since like before the readathon even happened and like if it's just me and him just sitting here then we're not gonna have any comments to interact with and it's just gonna be like what's the point no that's not bad if I stay on, you'll be here. Maybe, maybe look, look, this is maybe what we'll do. Okay, hear me out. Maybe I can put Becca on my phone and we can have Becca in spirit, right? Right here. And we can do reading sprints when she does reading sprints. And then when she's not doing reading sprints, I'll turn the volume down. We'll probably be down anyways. And me and Charles can talk. Is that, is that, is that good? Like we can have her in spirit with us. I mean, that sounds terrible, like, in spirit, like, she's dead, no, 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 just, like, we'll have her with us in, in, I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. You want, should I just ask Becca? I can message her. Should I ask her, Becca, um, on Discord? I'm just asking her. Okay.
Oh my gosh. So one of my most anticipated books of the year is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And somebody, Monty, um, Monty Pierce, his channel's It's Monty Pierce on here. He um, gave it one star. Oof. Okay, well, anyways, we have some time, like an hour and some. Do you guys hear my mom? Tell me if I if you hear my mom. But then also because it's the last hours, um, no, it should be fine. But let me know if you guys can hear my mom because I feel like that's weird. But also, yeah, we have some time before Becca goes live anyways and before my guest comes on. We have about 45 minutes before my guest comes on and we have like an hour and a half. Or like an hour and 15 before Becca goes live. So hopefully she'll get back to me in that time. She's pretty active on Discord generally. So I think it should be okay. Can you hear her laughing? Lord. I can ask her who she's on the phone with. Hold on. Mom. 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 Mother. Your dad's forcing you to go driving today. You literally don't want to. Why? Driving is fun. Also, sorry you guys heard me being like, no, don't tell them. I don't want them there. It's because she's talking to my sister and her husband, and I don't want them to come on the live. And she told them that I'm live, so. Driving is not bad. I don't understand why you don't want to drive. <coughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> I wasn't yelling out like I was mad at her. I was just like, why are you telling them? Finishing on Honeymooners, so I'm making much more than 50% into my third read. Nicely on Honeymooners is good. So, I'll start the first sprint soon. I was going to start it right now, but now it's at 16 and not 15, and that would bother me. I have the Sophia the First song stuck in my head because it of that TikTok I was watching. Look, it's a single. Oh, it went away. Oh, no. Let me see. I'll see you maybe. <laughs> I kind of forgot that you guys could hear me. Honestly. Now my dad's going to, so it's going to be extra loud. But I'm going to start the sprint soon, so then we won't hear anything. Yay, that's amazing. Ha <laughs> ha it happens. Okay, well, I don't know. Also, guys. I know this is the last live, but I found a different alarm that I like better because I can set the sound. So, um, I'm going to show you guys the sound. 
that we can do. I thought, because I don't want it to be too gentle where I'm not scaring you guys because, like, that's not fun. Um, so I was thinking maybe there is this alarm one that's like this. Hold on. Wow, it's really not that. Oh, there it goes. So I like how it's it's still going to scare you, and I don't have to stop it myself. Like, it just stops. I mean, it rings for a while, but, like, it just stops by itself. But we do have some other options. I just don't think they're as fun. There's, um, like, a telephone one. I don't like that one. Uh-uh. I think this telephone one is, like, an old telephone. Yeah. Maybe that one, because it sounds similar to the alarm, but it's shorter. you rather have that one, to be honest, too loud. I think maybe the telephone one, because it's shorter, you know, and it stops by itself. I feel like... <laughs> Sorry, my sister's texting me. Um, that's why I think maybe the phone one... Yeah, so I think maybe the phone one. I think telephone. So I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. Honey. Sorry, if you guys can hear my dad, I really, I really can't, I can't do anything about it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, reset? Excuse me. That was so disrespectful. Okay, I'm gonna start it soon. Give me one second. I have to get something. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. And if Becca messages me during the live, like during the sprint, I'll tell you guys after. Okay, it's 20. So I will begin it. Maybe I'll go to full screen mode. Yes, we like it. We like it a lot. Let me shut.
Okay, that's the alarm. So I feel like it's better. And it's short, and I don't have to stop it. How many pages did you guys read? <coughs> I read uh, 41. And yes, Sarah, it is time for live. Did you finish Crown of Midnight before the live? Um, I'm going to have a guest joining us in 20 minutes. So, yeah, and I, so I'm in a Discord with Becca and Ashley from A Frog Through Fiction and some other people as well, but Ashley seemed like what we said was a good idea. Becca hasn't responded yet, but Ashley said that it seemed like a good idea what I was doing, and I can't believe I literally get to talk for, to Becca and Ashley. Like, I've looked up to both of them for so long, and it's like, they're both so big, but I feel like I've made so many friends that are like really big youtubers to me that i've been watching for a long time and so it's like really really crazy to me but you're on page 280 of 360 you are 34 pages but you joined halfway though that's still really good no i but i read majority of always and forever laura jean oh so you just swapped books 11 pages one last 10 or 15 minute sprint before the guest comes yeah that's what i was thinking as well Maybe we can do a 15 minute one in four minutes. You're on page 231 out of 395. You also joined halfway. I got you. How are you guys liking your books? Do you like them? Are they enjoyable? You're big to me. It's just so just. <gasps> what? That's so cute. I can't. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I feel like, but I haven't even been doing YouTube for that long. Like, so I don't even know. Like, I've only started making videos like a month ago. But like, I've been watching Becca. I know, I've been watching Becca for like probably three years at this point. And I've been watching Ashley for like probably like a year. About, I think, Becca like three, Ashley like one. So I've been watching them for so long. And they both have so many subscribers. You love mine. So I never thought that I would talk to them because they have so many. You're liking it. It's a reread for you. It's enjoyable. Well, it's quite fun. I'm really enjoying mine. That's good. I'm enjoying mine as well. The page is not numbered. That's so weird. I was shy and surprised you remember me after a couple of sessions. Actually, I remember literally all of you guys. Like, all of you have been in the lives for a while. I'm not the biggest fan of contemporary. And to all the boys, I love before trilogy is sweet. And I low-key really like the first movie. The first movie's good. I haven't seen the second one. But yeah, you guys have all been in here. I know, I think that some people, all of you guys I know have been in here at least once or twice. Um... And I recognize new people, but I haven't seen anybody. Okay. You bench all of your videos after your first live and you fell in love. Stop. That's so cute. You've been dreaming of having a channel for so long, but I'm so scared. Girl, I was scared. Just do it, honestly. Like, and if you're scared that nobody's going to watch, I was scared of that too. But I feel like if you just, like, make friends with people, once you make friends, like, everything just falls into place. Because I did do this, like, a while back. Like, booktube a while ago but i didn't talk to anybody i did like i had no friends on booktube and so like that's why nobody really watched me but if you interact with your comments if you if you go on twitter if you can because i know that not everybody is in the correct mental capacity to go on twitter so if you go on twitter and you go on instagram and you talk to people and dm people like as i said even becca and ashley i talked to them and they have a lot of subscribers so and then i also that way um, what also happens is when I make friends, they invite me to join like book clubs or readathons or things like that. And then um, if they have bigger channels than you, then you get more exposure. And the more friends you make, the more exposure that you get to different um, like different groups of people. And it helps. <clears throat> Not sure if how to count to front or back or just the page. Yeah, that's so weird. Only 100 pages left in your book. You should be able to finish it. 60 pages for you. I finished long way down over the break and I'm into truly devious now are you liking truly devious did you like long way down do you know what you're gonna rate it you're loving the manga though that's good you tried filming the mid-year book freak out tab but your roommate's tv is so loud that you can literally hear every word mm, that's a hard situation do you live like do you live in like an apartment or what hi emma yeah wait so i'm on page 120 now and i've done three sprints so i'm almost halfway done because 
halfway would be like 150 something oh, i'm supposed to start the spurt right now you said thanks for the advice yeah of course like i'm i'm just everybody's been so supportive and it's really crazy i'll do a 15 minute sprint and if he comes in early well you know what all well charles will deal with it <laughs> that sounds terrible okay are you guys ready okay wait long way down is easy five stars for me it was good that's really good you live in a two family and the walls are super thin because the house is super old do you have a car because i know a lot of people film in their car and that's quite a good place like just drive to like an empty parking lot and go there you finish clap when you land and now you're reading study in charlotte for a mystery oh i own that book i really want to read it so tell me if you like it what prompt are you on i'm on the fourth roll i'm only doing um I'm choosing between the prompts, so I'm doing four, and I'm on the contemporary slash romance, so I'm reading Felix Ever After. Same, but you're really scared to start your channel, but you really want to, and you're ready. I think I might do 10 minutes because you guys were commenting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Okay. Okay, so get ready. You live in the city? Mm, I'm going to think about it, and I'll come back to you. I promise. Okay, ready, set. Go.
Okay, I decided I'm keeping my bookmark in this pocket. So, I read 20 pages. How many pages did you guys read? Oh my gosh, Charles made it just perfect on time. Was he watching? I feel like he was to know in the cup. Okay, hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Are you okay? What? You just like, you didn't, I was like, okay, I guess I'm live now. Do you wanna, before she gets too cranky? Oh my God, hi, Fluffy, Fluffy Dog. Fluffy? Fluffy Dog. Yeah, because I'm reading. Long, I'm reading Felix Ever After. What? What do you, Felix Ever After. Why is everyone reading that book right now? Because it just came out. I know it's on sale, so I bought it, but. We just I don't know if I'm going to read it right now. I have. Oh, yeah. I'm reading something that isn't romance. Sensational. What is that? It's a YA uh, murder mystery. Is that the second book to something? Yeah. The first book the is first Spectacle. One, Spectacle? I have Spectacle. I was like, that looks familiar. Okay, yeah, we just finished a sprint because I was I've been live for an hour already. So okay. somebody said they read sixty pages, twenty five, eight, eight. Someone said hello, fluffy, hi, pup. I don't know what the dog's actual name is. I just it's called Chloe. it. Fluffy. It's Chloe. Yeah. Cute. I like that. Please say hello. She's like, bro. Can you put me down? If I put her back down, she's going to start barking <laughs> or yeah. looking at me. Yeah, I got you. Well, I am liking Felix Ever After so far. I'm 140 pages in, so I'm trying to Did finish you finish it. your other book? Yeah. What was the other one again? The Shatter? Something ha was it Shatter Me? No, I didn't read Shatter Me. I read The Shadows by Alex North. Oh. Yeah, I okay. It. I gave it three stars. It's okay. I gave the Whisper Man like three stars too. I feel like I didn't realize that the detective and the main dude character were father and son until like seventy five percent of the way in. Well, I didn't read the book, so I don't know. I own it though. It's and not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. It's just not clear. <laughs> I wish I knew how many. Yeah, this person's book is like isn't numbered like the pages. Really? Yeah. Isn't that weird? What book is it? I have no clue. They have to answer. Also, so I'm. Most of us are participating in Becca's Bookopoly, which ends in two hours. For like people that started in the time zone that Becca's in, because she's yeah. in the UK, and yeah. I didn't know that she was also going to be doing live sprints. And I was like, wow, she's doing them. But then Charles was to come on, and I'm not going to cancel on Charles. So we decided that we're going to sprint at the same time as her, and I'm just going to put her here. And we're just gonna have a good time with Becca. But is, we're it, not is it gonna stay there? Yeah, I can stay. Yeah. Oh well, I got a notification that moved a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna put it there. So how many books have you read so far? Three. So one or two? Three. I just finished three today. Come on. Excuse me. I don't read that much. <laughs> Sarah's like on the same level as you. Sarah, she reads a lot. Sarah reads a lot, a lot. Is Sarah on YouTube? No, she wants to make a YouTube channel though, but she just tried to record a video and apparently like her roommates are always super loud. So, and I was like trying to help her figure out a place to film, but she doesn't have a car because she lives in the city. So I'm assuming that means that she doesn't really have a backyard. And if she does and it's noisy, so I'm like, I don't know where she should film. I'm trying to help her. Maybe all you need is like a blank wall. I know, but it's noisy. So her house is always noisy because of her roommates. Is mm -hmm. that your mom? Yeah. Hi, mom. She can't. I have earphones on. Well, tell her I said hi. Hi, mom. I'll tell her. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Iconic. I love that red. It's nice. He said, <laughs> Did you say iconic? 
He said the Rose Princess. Oh, it's a manga. It's a manga. That's probably- Oh, that can make sense. I that forgot. Sense. Yeah. Manga can be like that sometimes. Yeah. But they usually have page numbers sometimes to like delineate the chapters. Yeah. Unless it's like a really weird manga that I haven't read. I don't know. I, I don't feel read like it. Ever, so. What? I feel like you read everything ever, so. No, I haven't. I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> I've read, this month I've read, I'm proud of myself, this month I've read seven books. That's good. Yeah. It's only day 12. That is That's amazing. Good. That is good. That is amazing. Normally I read like four or five books in one month, and I've already read seven. Wow. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> In February, I'm like sitting here. I'm like sitting here. I'm like I can't relate. I just read seventy books left. Okay, but the thing is, that's not normal. It is okay. Do you know no, Lisa from Remarkably Lisa? Yeah, but she also reads mostly romance. The only people I know that read that much are read majority romance. No, she actually is branching out. She's going into YA, YA contemporary. But the that. Contemporaries and romance are the two fastest genres. Okay, read some historical romance, and like you can tell, like those are not quick reads, depending okay. on which ones you choose. Read an eight hundred page fantasy. I like to see how fast you read that. Uh huh. Yo, I read Sarah J. Mass's Crescent City in like two Sarah days. Sarah J. Mass doesn't count. Sarah is quick. <laughs> Sarah is quick. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. The beginning of that book was so complicated. It was like. Here's this important thing. Here's this another important thing. And I like to see you then read a high adult fantasy. I like to see. I like to see. I want to know. Okay, okay. I have one right here. Do it. Is that is that high enough for you? Yeah. Someone said thirty hours. Well, look, someone said they're on their ninth book this month and they've never read so much. Someone said they read they've read eight this month so far, but twelve is their normal. Five so far this month, which is good for her. They think this friends help. Um, they said they read four to five books a month too. See, oh yeah, B Bethany does. Yeah, read Yeah, Bethany lot. reads a lot too. But she doesn't read seventy books. She reads like thirty. No, she. I thought she's more around fifty. No, I thought she was like twenty to thirty. Like maybe like like low thirties. That's what I thought because I watched her wrap ups. Because I know she has like she has to split her wrap ups. Into yeah, two. you have to split your wrap ups if it's thirty. If I hit no, because remember she has like the mid the mid month yeah wrap up and then the full 30, and the second half I would split what? it too if it was thirty yeah. I would split it too if it was above twenty like five I'd split it I I, I just gave up doing it like full on wrap ups yeah I can't they said can't. Best month was May with nine books mine was last month I read fourteen October as long as you're reading good books that's yeah. Fine. Like, I'd rather, because within that 70, like, probably 30 of them were horrible books. Someone said their average is 20 to 25. So OMG, Sarah, please teach me. See, look, somebody reads 20 to 25 books, and everybody's like, oh, my gosh, that's so much. Teach me your ways. And you're over here reading 70 books in one month. That is not normal. People say that I read 10 books a month, and they're like, that's a lot. Yeah. People who don't even read one book in, like, three years. Okay, you, you just have to get on get into audiobooks. I do listen to like audiobooks, but one, I... I'll probably be finished with this today, and this is like a good 400-page book. Okay, but the thing is, I personally, I do listen to audiobooks, but I like to have the majority of my reading come from physical. I always mm. try and keep physical at 50%, and then maybe not 50%, but I like my like my physical to be more than my ebook and my um, audiobook. But I do, like for this readathon, for a lot of the books I've been listening on three yeah. times speed while reading, so that helps me get through it quicker. That's what I've been doing. Uh, the okay. audiobook on script, so that's what I've been doing. Your best friend was uh, fourteen. I someone said I can't even read seventy books in a year. Facts. Emma, you I can do it. You can do it. Book. I'm at fifty books last year. I read fifty books last I year. I can send you like a ton of novellas. 
Steph loves Channel. Are you talking about Steph's romance book club or is this a different person? I think so. Like she she just put a put a wrap up out where she read like nine books. In a yeah, week. and that was like in a week, right? But for hers, some are she meets she reads a mix. Yeah. Because some romances can be around the two hundred page, two hundred page, which is not, or even less. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's like the best way for me. And then I, if I read it physically along, I count it as physical. So. Oh that's really? Mhm. Mm because I'm physically reading it with my eyes. Am I not? Like I know when I listen and read, like I'll just kind of blank out and still listen. But then just kind of check in to make sure that, like, I know what's going on, yeah, know who the characters also, are. Also, sometimes, like, I flip-flop between physical and audio. And if I read at least 50% of the book in physical, I count it as physical. Oh, I can't. I can't read physical. Like, I end up skimming. I still get everything, but I just skim so much. I would like to see you read just physical books for a month and see how many you read. It'd be, like, five. <laughs> You know, the last time I read a physical book, it was like, um, have you read it's like Bring Me Their Heart by Sarah Wolf? It's like a YA fantasy, and it took me like two months to read. <laughs> so I'll read two pages on my phone, and I'll be like, okay, I'm bored. Some people also don't like physical, or I meant audiobooks. Audiobooks help. Oh, wait, wait, I'm getting behind. Hold on, I have to scroll back up. I do physical book, ebook, and audiobook. Yeah, I do that too. It says, to be honest, I've never listened to an audiobook because so I can't decide if Audible is worth it to pay for it. You don't have to. Download Libby. Oh, you can use the Gribd or um, Lib Libro Libby. is really good. Um, um, Libby is like, Libby. Um, Libby's library. Yeah, Libby so and Hoopla. Library, you can do it. Emma, I will send you my link for Scribd if you want. So then that way you get a month free and I get, or no, you get two months free and I get a month free. Really on my game. But Scribd is sometimes, they do weird, I heard horror stories of people who use Scribd, like they cap if they you listen do. too much. That's why I, if I have a book from my library, I will check it out in my library before I check it, before I read it from Scribd, because if, okay. I don't want to be capped, so if it's available for my library, I'd rather do it that way, but then I also have Audible, and I use this other app, yeah, but on Audible, you can return it, so sometimes if I finish a book, right. I just return it if I'm never going to reread it um so you that way, it. yeah i think you you have a year to return the audiobook but i've gotten away with um not returning something within a year yeah yo i saw your comment on my video Says he reads other other genres all all the same genre. Yeah, you do. Not all the same, but you read mostly fantasy. You no, know, I had other books that I read, but I rated. I know all your favorites were fantasy. What? I to do the thing where my eyes jump across the page and only read everything. Same, page. Sarah. I do that too. Same, I do that too. My eyes jump around. Oh, yeah, I would say, Emma, like, just like do something, like start slow and like maybe check your email, like walk around and see if you can um, still understand. I do them when I'm doing the dishes. That's smart. Yeah, but like if I'm doing anything else, Besides, like, even walking, I feel like I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at this pretty tree. And then my mind's thinking about the tree and not about the book. Driving is hard. I can't I can't listen while I drive. I have to put it on a really slow speed to be able to keep up. Wait, Charles, are you going to be busy tonight? Oh, hi, Becca. Wait, are you, like, busy later tonight? Why? What's up? Because I still feel weird about doing the live at the same time as Becca. Oh, yeah. So, Do you want to uh, go to Becca's and watch? Yeah, Becca said I can go in hers, actually. But then, like, if, because hers is probably going to end at 7, because that's okay. what ends hers. So would you be busy at 7? So then that way we won't be overlapping. I uh, know. No, I don't think so. I won't be busy. 
Okay. Chloe will be nice and asleep. So you'll be asleep. Chloe, my dog, my my puppy. Oh, so you won't be busy at seven. So then we could no. do. Okay, so then we could do this at seven. Mm -hmm. Then we won't be overlapping. Big brain. I'll probably try to finish two books in between them. Just like so rubbing and getting. Are you sure that's okay? I feel bad. No, you're good. Look. Oh, Becca is in the chat. I feel bad too. We all feel bad. I just don't. I feel bad either way that I do it. You know? It's just like tough. I did not know. Because I feel like Becca scheduled hers for today. Like yeah. the live. And then I scheduled with you, like, before I even know that she was doing it, so. But I don't feel bad if you're not busy at 7, because then you yeah, really... Yeah, can do that at 7. But I feel bad, because then the people in here want to watch you, and they want to watch me. They want to watch Charles, too. And this is just... A... Okay, so I think... Yeah, so she did everything on a whim. So then... Becca's will end at seven, and then we could do ours at seven. After at the same time, after Becca's. Yeah, because Becca's ends at seven. Seven, okay. So then I will send you the link at seven to do the new one. Okay, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, wait. Do you want Charles to come too? Because she said that I can go on hers, and I don't know if she wants to combine you with her too 7 30 i think oh okay i thought it was gonna end at seven because oh well you want to like wrap it up i guess because the mm -hmm. on ends at seven okay well yeah so you guys should go watch becca yes yeah. go watch because i mean she is the host so i feel bad <laughs> you know she like kind of put it all together it doesn't trash her so she said that you can come mm -hmm. and live if you want, as long as you don't trash Sarah. We all love Sarah here, so you better not trash her on Becca's live. What? You guys love Sarah? Yeah. I can go back to like when first Akatar came out when I was a Sarah Jane Moss fan. Okay, okay. For her, so, what turn me with my name is Marina's videos on Sarah Jane Moss. Have you is, have you watched them? No, I don't she gave, want like a one star review of throwing a glass, and I was just like, she has a point. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, anyways, it was hurting you. Anyway, so Becca's probably gonna like get ready because her live starting in fifteen minutes. So right. I'm gonna end this one, and then we can all go over there. Okay, I will end it. Bye, everybody. Right. Even though this Bye. is a really quick level to end, because it always loads.